Okay, so this video will be about import JSON function. Now, the Google Sheets don't have import JSON function as of now. We're in 2017. So we'll have to add an extra function that we can use. Maybe later on, there will be a function that Google will actually provide as well. But for right now, there's a function that we will use that we'll copy and paste from here. And if you want to actually see how this function was built, there is another separate video for that. But for right now, I just want to be able to use this code, just copy and paste and you'll be done. And I'll have a link to this code below the video. So what I have is an empty worksheet. I haven't done anything here. So I'm going to say import JSON data. So the first thing we'll have to do, we'll have to add this to our spreadsheet. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this whole thing. Now, sometimes it gets on a way. So maybe click on this little code button and then you'll be able to copy the whole thing easily. Make sure you get the whole thing, right? So I'm going to do my command C or control C to copy that. I'll go back here and what I'm going to do, I'm going to go under tools. And then I'll click script editor. So this is what I'm going to get on the screen. So I'll go ahead and delete everything here and just paste that code right here. Make sure you get everything, including the beginning here and then all the way down here. So I ended up with 41 lines of code. That's exactly what you should get after you paste this. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and save. We'll give this a name. Doesn't matter what you call this, by the way, for as far as the project name here. So I'll go ahead and hit OK. Now I'll go ahead and save this. Now what I want to do is now go ahead and use this function. So I'm going to go here and I want to import some JSON data. So if I go ahead and start equals import JSON, that function should now show up in this results. To explain you how this function works, uh, first of all, we need some JSON sample. So I'm going to go to this fixer IO website. There's some sort of currency exchange rate API that we have. And a lot of APIs will return JSON, right? And I assume if you watch this video, it's probably because of some JSON API return. That's why you're interested in importing JSON data. So uh, the way this works, this is their JSON API. And uh, what do you do? You have to provide your base currency. So if my base currency is say Australian dollar, there it is. I'm going to get all currency exchange rates here. Now, if I change it to like USD, I'm going to get uh, all exchange rates where the base is USD. Now, what if I want the base to be like Euro, right? There it is. So I get all of these exchange rates right here, including US dollar right there. So uh, that's going to be where I get my JSON data. So I'm going to copy the link where that return data comes from, go back, and I'm going to start with my equals import, oops, equals import json it's right here in the list or you can just type the whole thing the first thing is the url as string so that means we'll have to provide it in quotes so i'm going to do quote paste that link and quote so that was that euro thing so comma the next thing is the path we want to extract so right now oops that's not it right now i have let's say i just wanted to get the date right which is this 2017-0901. So if I go ahead and type date, so this is a string two, so in quotes, hit enter, 
There it is, I get the date. I'm gonna close this, we don't need that. So there it is, we get the date, right? Now, uh, what if I want to get, what's the exchange rate for US dollar from Euro to US, right? So uh, what I'm gonna do, and if you look here, we have this rates, and inside of the rates we have our US dollars. So I'm gonna start with the first one on top level was rates. So if you remember, see if I look here, it, the rates is on the same level as date or base. So I'm just typing rates. And then inside of rates, we want USD. So I'm gonna do rates, the slash, and then USD. Hit enter. And we should be able to get that number, 1192. Now, if there was another indented level in it and you wanted to get to it, you would just do another slash and go to the next level, right? So there it is. That's that. Now, another thing about this function is that what if I just wanted to get all of these different currencies in their rates? So instead of going rates and let's get, let's say USD or let's get some other Canadian or something like that, right? What if we just do something like rates, which returns that whole table. And there it is. I was able to get this entire data just like that. And that's a little bit about import JSON function. Now you want to make sure that you understand that depending on how large that JSON return is, uh, Google Sheets may not be able to handle it because there is actually a limit how much data it can fetch out of an external uh, link. So if it exceeds that amount, it will just give you an error because of that. So be careful with that. Sometimes you'll have to work with the API and make sure that the return is kind of smaller so it fits inside of that kilobyte or byte range, whatever it is. Hopefully that's helpful. That's our import JSON function. Thanks for watching and subscribe for new videos.